Is Andrew Tate the alpha man or an alpha scam? Is it Andrew great or is it Andrew hate all women? If you're anyone who's been on social media the past few months, particularly a guy, you've probably heard of Andrew Tate and you might have pretty strong opinions about him. Yeah, he's a pretty polarizing figure. You know who I'm talking about, the bald, bearded, kickboxing champion who's rich, very charismatic, he's a playboy, got rich off some sus ways, continues to get rich off some sus ways as well, and honestly, he's just highly controversial, and I'm gonna tell you why. And I will pass judgment on this man today! So I'm not gonna comb through a bunch of Andrew Tate clips and give you a rating on whether I disagree or agree, if it's problematic, if it's true, or if it's 50-50. Let's be honest, I think it's more productive if I talk about why he's actually popular, if you should listen to him if you are the average male, and honestly, is he good for society? So if that sounds good to you, please do me a favor and hit that like button and let's get into it. First of all, we gotta talk about why he is so popular on the internet amongst men. Now, by the way, I'm just gonna do an analysis. I am not endorsing him. Obviously, I'm not co-signing him. Obviously, I'm not saying everything he's saying is facts, but we just gotta talk about why he appeals to so many, you know, regular dudes on the internet. Point number one, he appeals to a large group of guys on the internet who see him as an unshakable alpha male figure. I'll be honest, over the past five years, there has been a pretty large wave of these types of voices coming through the manosphere on the internet and they're pretty much running as counterweights to balance with the overly woke side. You know how things are right now. It's just woke and not woke and left and right and conservative and liberal. It's very polarized right now. I don't think I need to explain anything more. It's not rocket science. He's kind of just this human manifestation of the voices that a lot of frustrated men feel inside. Basically, a lot of young guys feel like they want to talk back at these beautiful women that are outside of their range or that have rejected them, but Andrew Tate is just a guy that can do it. He is truly a quick dopamine hit for young men who feel like they're not getting what they want out of life. Clearly, there is a demand for Andrew Tate and what he brings to the table, but there's also a demand for just like a lot of real healthy conversations and coaching and therapy for young guys that are dealing with angst about masculinity, sex, and relationships. The second reason why he's so popular is to be honest, he dominated the algorithm. Here's how he did it. Andrew Tate has this thing called Hustlers University. It's supposed to teach you how to get rich I guess very quickly. But basically what happens is through that, it incentivizes a bunch of people to upload all of his clips and a whole bunch of his content on different platforms, on different channels to flood the market because they make money through affiliate links. That's why on a lot of these little offshoot channels that are uploading all these YouTube shorts, TikToks, and Instagram videos, you're actually gonna see a little affiliate link at the bottom because those people uploading are making money off of it. And by pushing all this content out on the internet, it beats the algorithm. The robot says, hey, everybody wants to see this. Everybody's uploading this material. Let me push it in your face. And by the way, Andrew Tate said it himself in an interview that one of the reasons why he started putting himself out there more in the past few months is because he wanted to market his courses. It's all marketing, baby. And the third reason why Andrew Tate is so popular on the internet right now, he says super strong, wild, and provocative statements that are a mix of truth and exaggeration, and people eat it up. Plus, I'm not gonna lie, the guy is entertaining. It's kind of like saying, hey guys, you know what? I wanna eat something healthy right now, so I'm gonna grab a salad. I take a salad, salads are generally healthy, right? But then I jam a whole bunch of fried chicken and ranch dressing on top. Is it even healthy anymore? I don't know, but it's tasty. I just ate a salad. Andrew Tate is just this really crazy mixture between how Jordan Peterson kind of thinks, how Dan Bilzerian kind of lives, and how Austin Rivers kind of looks. Honestly, his explosive rise in virality kind of reminds me of Donald Trump or 6ix9ine. Sadly enough, there are some guys who take 100% of what he says as truth, but I think most people know it's not all true. But no matter what the facts are, it's almost like, man, it's so entertaining. It just sucks you in and you just want to keep watching whatever else he's going to say. All right, everybody. So we finished that, but let's talk about the next big question, which is, does what Andrew Tate says apply to the average male and should you listen to him? My short answer is no. I think, and I have watched a lot of his videos lately, I think what he says really only applies to five or less than 5% of the population. 
men and women. I mean, the truth is, most men in the world do not have the leverage that Andrew Tate has. He's 6'1", he's rich, he's like, uh, his father was like a famous chess player, and he lives in Romania, and he doesn't leave Romania, or he doesn't come to America. I don't know, he's just in a way different situation, guys. That's like if Tim Grover handed me Kobe and Jordan's full workout plan. Like, what am I gonna do? Like a thousand fadeaway jumpers and then run seven miles? Like, what? And the last and final question is, is Andrew Tate's rise to fame and popularity, is it good for society? I can only judge this man, Andrew Tate, on what he says and what he sells. This next point is what I believe to be the biggest contradiction of what Andrew Tate says he wants men to be and what he actually sells to men. If you watch a lot of his videos, you're gonna tell that Andrew Tate feels very, very strongly about men being men, having the traditional gender roles, men upholding society, keeping the structures going, being good, being productive, waking up in the morning and go getting life, becoming rich and successful and being these great leaders. But why then is he selling a multi-level marketing course that's teaching men how to just make money very quickly through trading DeFi, Amazon dropshipping, and flipping stuff? Basically everything but upholding society. Allow me to explain. Andrew Tate is always talking about how the American system is crumbling due to the lack of patriarchy and all these other things. But I'm like, hey, if America's crumbling, then why don't you come up with ideas to come fix it? What I mean to say is that if we're diving into the mind of what makes a traditional man, a protector, a provider, an inventor, a producer, these guys who run the system, who are firefighters, policemen, teachers, these men are really, really important to society. But Andrew Tate is selling a course so that you can make a bunch of money not being those guys. I can't help but think that Andrew Tate is operating off of the fact that society is crumbling. So why not make a bunch of money as fast as you can, however you can, so that you can invite a bunch of models out on expensive vacations and tell them what to do. I'm not saying that in some weird way that doesn't sound appealing to a lot of guys in their dreams. But that is not how 99% of society is going to work. I'm telling you what the man's role is. Men are supposed to uphold society. They're supposed to protect, provide, and produce. And that's why you gotta join my Hustlers University so that you can make money quickly doing none of that at all. You know, just doing stuff off the arbitrage and you know, not really adding value, but you know, get rich and file some models. Don't be a bitch, come on. <laughs> all in all, just to wrap up this video, is Andrew Tate actually a bad guy? To truly answer this question, we gotta talk about what popularity means. In the modern era, popularity has a lot more to do with being polarizing than it does being positive. To me, if you're gonna judge a man like this, someone who talks a lot of crazy things on the internet, you just gotta look at how he first got rich, how he continues to get rich, and does he truly wanna help people or does he not give a fuck and just wants to make money? By all means, from just strictly an entertainment aspect, the dude is killing. But I don't think he's the solution to any of our world's problems. He could literally be regurgitating all this old world common sense that he found in a hundred different masculinity books over the past hundred years. And to be honest, if you remove all of his speeches off the internet and you just looked at his website and his Instagram, you'd probably look at him and say, oh, this guy's clearly trying to take my money. So while you may feel like he's shedding light on some man versus woman dynamics that are kind of hard to talk about. I urge you, if anything, to use that as inspiration to have actual healthy conversations in real life about that kind of stuff. All in all, if I had to look at the positive side of his popularity, you know, I think that it could be a catalyst or spark something. It could really spark more better uh, healthy conversations about the whole uh, anti-masculine movement about a lot of men feeling like that those masculine traits are frowned upon. Whether or not that is true, you know, that's how a lot of guys feel. And Andrew Tate just represents that other voice like, and he's just going 10 times harder. So I don't know, hopefully something good all comes from this. And this message is obviously particularly for people who fully hate on Andrew uh, Tate and just, just don't like anything that he says. So I'm just trying to look at the positive side. But anyways, you guys in the comments, let me know what you think. Is he very good, positive, truth teller? Is he 50-50, kind of this weird mix of like truth teller and problematic stuff? And then is he just fully like just a bad guy? So I don't know, let me know in the comments down below. And until next time, we out. Peace.
His rise and viral virality is virality the word? 